Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I wrote a little article on where system, global, and local Windows Git config files are saved. And I actually just wanted to take you through that process. Uh, I've actually got a, a Git repository initialized here, and as anybody knows, if you go into Git and you try and commit some changes, and you haven't configured your username and email address, all of a sudden you get this message that says, hey, uh, we don't know your email address and we don't know your name. And you have to go into this process of saying git config global user.email and you have to do user.name as well. So that ends up generating a couple of questions, especially from new users. I should be able to do my commit now. Yay, everything worked. Uh, but that generally, generally triggers a, a few questions from new users because they start to think, okay, well, if you've specified the global scope, what other scopes are there? And there's actually two others. There is a system scope <coughs> that you can specify here. And there's also a local scope. And so right now I've actually configured a different name in each of the three scopes. I've got local McKenzie, I've got system McKenzie, and I've got Cameron McKenzie. And so where is all of this information being saved is a question that gets triggered. So we've got three scopes, system, local, and global, and wouldn't you know, we've actually got three different configuration files. Now, if you actually want to see where these configuration files are, you can actually just go in and instead of specifying username or, pa or email address, uh, you can just say edit, and this will open up an editor. So here I ask Git to edit the local config file, and it opens up a local config file. I don't know if you can see that, but it says basic git commands git config. And so this file where it says local McKenzie is held in this directory here inside the git directory of my local repository. So now I have to close that editor and I'm going to ask to see where the global config is. And here we see Cameron McKenzie, which was the first one I set up. And you notice that's saved in users, Maven user, git config. And so Maven users, the users that I've logged in with, as you can see the files is named dot git config. So that's kind of interesting. It actually doesn't have a file name, just an extension. And that's up here in the user directory. I now close that window. And then the last one I'll look at is system. And you probably won't be surprised to find out that a, a system level configuration file is actually stored right under the installation. So I'm not sure if you can see that there, but git mingw32, might not be 32 on a 64 bit machine, etsy git config, no extension, no dot in front of it, and here you see where it's specified user is system McKenzie. By the way, you also notice that right here is where it's been configured for Notepad to come up when I want to edit commits or even edit the config file. Uh, that's where you go if you actually want to change what the core editor for your Git installation is. So anyways, that's it. That kind of goes over. There is my local Git. There is my global Git. And there finally is the configuration at the system level. And so if you want to find out more, head over to theserverside.com. Um, I do have a couple of articles on this topic. And feel free to follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.